there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. The World Cup is over folks, but don't worry, we're here for one last bash just to go through it all. And you know, I'm really looking forward to this show because we're going to pick, try and pick our team over the tournament at the end of the day. And without doubt, these always end up in arguments and so it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. So we'll crack on folks, we'll get going. Um, it's been undusted, but what has been your favourite moment so far? Paul? Uh, my favourite moment. I think for me, my favourite moment was uh, when uh, Croatia beat Argentina 3 0. For me, it showed that they had the capabilities to go and actually do something with this. I think everyone was like, oh, Croatia could be dark horses. Um, do, they, do they have the resources to do it? I think when they, when they dismantled pretty much. Uh, Argentina I think so everyone stood up and took notice that was the moment really for Croatia for me, yeah. yeah and I suppose like with that game as well you, you consider Argentina they were a mess they got through you know scraped through the, quali the, the the group stage and you thought you know is this where they're going to kick on they're going to kick on but yeah but you also, you also, people also forget that Argentina scored three goals against France it was 4-3 whereas Croatia and then back to three now as well so. yeah yeah. It's, I see the logic here you're, you're proving a good case over to you Will Welcome um, again. thanks. Uh, moment. Well, I, I definitely had the match, the one I enjoyed the most, whether it was the match of the tournament, was the Japan Belgium game. I thought that was a fabulous game. Yeah, good point. Um, That's, uh, yeah. Just had everything that you would want in a football match. Um, so that for me, I think, was the most enjoyable match, along with probably in the early days, which we forget about, which is Spain, Spain against Portugal. Another absolute belter of a game. Belter of a game. Just you know, one of the best games. I've ever seen as in just back and forth quality on both sides um, yeah so those those two moments for me I think stand out but there was a lot in this World Cup to yeah the thing about this World Cup is like we'll, we'll probably talk about it a little more afterwards but for me quality there was moments of quality but by and large my abiding memory of this tournament isn't really the quality it's just moments of unreal excitement um, and you know I think um, you, the way you sum that up best is watch all the high-profile teams that come out. And I think this isn't a disrespect, but you look at England's run to the semi-final and the fact that there were so many teams that they, you, we expected they might face, but they were all washed away earlier on. That just added to the complete bonkers tournament, really, wasn't it? Yeah, but what was your favourite moment? What was my favourite moment? Ah, you've put me on the spot here now. I was, I was supposed to ask you the questions. Um, you said it was well, we, England Panama getting them earlier, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> careful now you get me in trouble um, there was there were so many moments the Japan Belgium game was crazy for me it's that last corner that you know it was a crazy crazy game and everyone's kind of watching Japan going okay can they do this can they do this are they going to do this they get 2-0 up and they're, they're two absolute screamers and then they're going and then uh, Belgium turn back on the gas. They, they they make the changes, and then at the end, you know, you're thinking you're thinking of this is extra time coming, and then the cruel, cruel kamikaze goal really, where they all push forward for a corner, and then they get done, and you can just see the moment the ball broke when De Bruyne got the ball at the edge of the box, the movement, the step over from Lukaku, mm. and the finish. That for that probably moment is probably my favorite moment of the tournament. Yeah. Um, I suppose that leads on then. Um, I've I've kind of answered two questions in one there. My favorite moment and favorite goal. Do you have a favourite goal of the tournament? What can you pick one out? There's been some belters. Uh, Cherishev. Which is first one. That would probably be not the, yeah, the second the left one. Forward, uh, the, yeah. the outside yeah. of the foot yeah, the or the out. one against... Um, who was it? Against? He scored a peach against... Uh, I think it was to level it against... Uh, was it Spain? He scored a peach he's, goal he's got to a... level it. It was a left foot top corner. Yeah, that was Croatia, um, wasn't it? That was Croatia. Croatia yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or really enjoyed Nacho strike against... Uh, Portugal, Portugal. Yeah. that was a great one uh, Mbappe's run um, i trying to think of the other ones as well the, the Ronaldo one free kicks from the first yeah goal. yeah the free kick from Ronaldo was fantastic yeah. it's hard to I think actually the the second Spanish goal was it that one the right back where you just that's actually, yeah. sorry that's sorry bigger pardon yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that's just flush, flash back into my head yeah there's been we've been treated to some good goals any any favourites for you or anything stand out uh, probably the Cherish F1 against Croatia it was a bell. I don't even think he meant it. It just sat up so noisily. I think it bobbled just the right time, and he just hit, connected so well. And <laughs> it, it just from the from the keeper's reaction, he was just like just watching. So that, that one for me. Anyway. Yeah, we have been spoiled for choice, really. And I suppose 